Okay, this is gonna be fun. We've been having a good time playing with these things. On Amazon, they're called Rocket Slingshot Flying Copters with LED Lights, or this set is both fun and cool, and are called Copter Slingshot LED Rocket Helicopter Toy. But I like to call them Night Rockets. Night Rockets. Night Rockets. They're really cool. You fling them up into the air with a slingshot, and they float down on these little wings. They're like digital fireworks, and with these, there's no chance of exploding a shell near your family like I did a few years ago. <laughs> My kids and I could literally play with them outside for an hour. But here's the problem. They break, like instantly. The first time they hit the ground, the light stops working. And a rocket slingshot flying helicopter with no LED is no FUN. Hi, I'm Michael. We're gonna make our own version of these rockets and completely over-engineer them. Better, stronger, faster. We'll put better electronics in them, better LEDs, and make sure they can withstand the impact of hitting the ground. And we're gonna 3D print them and dispel the rumor that resin prints are too brittle and fragile for something like this. All right, let's dissect one of these. Inside, there's a little circuit powered by three batteries, an LED, and a switch. What happens is when this hits the ground, the impact jars the battery connection loose and the lights stop working. So we need a better setup in here. I mean, I could just make a better connection to the battery and use the same circuit, but I'd like to use an RGB LED so we can change the color or have it cycle through colors. And that means using a tiny Arduino to control the LED. So I reached out to Tiny Circuits. They make a lot of really cool, really small Arduino project kits, but they also sell these really small Arduino boards. I've used these before to hack Xbox controllers because the board is so small it can fit inside the controller. A quick side note, if you want me to make a video about the Xbox controller hack, leave a comment below. If I get enough comments, I'll make the video. Tiny Circuits rushed me some of these Tiny Lily boards. This thing is smaller than a dime. They also sent me some LED boards and these tiny rechargeable batteries. Look at this battery, it's so small. So this is gonna be great. I'm gonna design my night rocket to use these components. Except that I'm gonna use a different LED than the one they sent me. While their LEDs are great, I wanna have four in each one. So I'm gonna use an LED strip that I already have laying around and then fold the strip to make a little box. This way there will be light shining out in all four directions. Here's the design for the night rocket. There's a panel here on the side so I have access to the inside. A little screw will hold that in place or I could tape it shut like they do. Everything fits in here. There's a switch to turn it on and off and a button to change the LED mode. And the LEDs are up in the tail and shine through these holes. Today I'm gonna to print these using Conjure Tough White Resin in the Flash Forge Photo 8.9. This is a nice mid-sized printer and it's really affordable. I think I'll add a flex plate to it. These exposed screw holes on the build plate limit where you can print, and a flex plate would fix that. But this printer is in the same class as the Epax E10, which I also have, but is hundreds of dollars less expensive. And right now, it's only $3.99 on Amazon. The resin again is Conjure Tough. This is a new resin from Jamhi and Chitu Systems, the people who make Chitu Box. And it has some of the physical properties of rubber, so it should have good impact resistance. So I did a lot of tests with this resin trying to get good prints out of it, and this is what I'll say about it. The resin is a little tricky to work with, but at the same time, I really like it. I've never seen another resin like it, and there are some trade-offs. I suggest printing it a little overexposed. It comes off the printer really soft and tacky. The material properties are something I've never seen in a 3D print resin. You can cut it with an X-Acto, you can bend it, and then after some post-curing, it firms up and has the feel of like a soft rubberized plastic. It's gonna be perfect for the night rockets. My wife said that these look a little like a feminine hygiene product, but I think that night rockets sounds a lot better than tampon rockets. Here's my circuit. If the switch is pushed in, it connects the battery to power it. If the switch is out, it connects the battery to this plug where you can recharge the battery. The push button switches modes for the LEDs. There are 19 modes. The default is a rainbow gradient. Then this is like a rocket fire mode, then a blue rocket fire, and then a purple rocket fire. These modes are different colors spinning around, and then a patriotic spinning, which is hard to see on camera, or I guess it looks a little like an emergency vehicle. 
and then different solid colors. And the last mode is a special one, and I'll tell you about it in a minute. The electronics all fit inside the rocket, so to charge it, plug it in and turn off the switch. It takes about 40 minutes to charge and then it's ready to go. Let's turn it on. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Next, we need to make some wings. Their rocket weighs about six grams. Mine weighs about 12 grams. So if mine weighing double, it's gonna need larger wings than what they had. To cut them, I'm gonna be using the MakeBlock X-Tool D1 Laser Cutter Engraver. I just got this thing and this is my first time using it. I made the design in Adobe Illustrator, saved it as an SGV file, and then loaded it on their free software and laser cut it. I gotta say this thing was really easy to use. It only took about 30 minutes to assemble it, and my first time using it, it just worked. And I've got a couple of ideas for some cool projects to do with it, so stay tuned. The real challenge was trying to find the right material to cut. I ended up using photo paper, which was about the right weight. But this Coke can box would also work. Okay, it's ready to try out. They've been hitting the ground pretty hard and they haven't cracked yet. And to be fair, the cheapo rocket copters also break when they hit the ground. So in my opinion, this resin is holding up pretty well. Okay, I have one more modification I wanna make. If I add an accelerometer in here, I can have the LED change color by the acceleration of the rocket. So that is held in place by the nose cone. This keeps the accelerometer in line with the forward movement of the rocket. So that's the extra mode I was talking about. It's the rocket exhaust acceleration mode. Heat or brightness is tied to movement, or more accurately, it's tied to acceleration or changes in speed. So it should look sort of like a real rocket engine. I also made another mode that uses the acceleration data to change the hue. Hey, got it. Pretty cool. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon and hit that like button. It's one of the easiest things you can do to help out my channel. So actually one of them did finally break. What happened? When the wings get damaged, then the rocket can come down pretty fast, but the circuit wasn't damaged at all. I just put the electronics in a new rocket body and it was as good as new.